Today marks the International Day of Charity, set aside to remember the death of Mother Teresa and honor the tireless work people do to help others in need. Plus TV Africa's Ngozika Ohechise went to speak with the co-founder of a foundation that caters to the well-being, education and empowerment of homeless children and other young people in disadvantaged circumstances. Every year, charities all over the world help to save and improve people's lives. They fight diseases, protect children and give hope to millions of people. The International Day of Charity raises awareness about the work other people do to help those in need. Kemi Ojenike is a lawyer and a co-founder of Destiny Trust Children Foundation, which currently houses over 50 children and takes total care of their well-being and education. To her, the Day of Charity presents an opportunity to think about the needs of others beyond ourselves. The Day of Charity is a good opportunity, in my opinion, to shed light on some of the work that goes on within the non-profit space. Um, within this space is one where you have individuals, organizations coming together to address a societal problem and to move the society forward in their own way. And there are so many people that are doing a lot of amazing work in this area. There's also an opportunity to think about what we are doing in our own little way to lift others up in our society. As most charity organizations go the extra mile to help the needy, they face challenges and crises which they have to find ways of overcoming. The challenges that charities face, particularly in the area of funding and support, for instance, one way that that problem is being addressed is through the use of social media. It has made it a lot easier. Things that we could not do, like when we started, there was probably, we didn't have as much of a reach as we did now. There are people from all over the world that can learn about our work, learn about what we do and participate in ways that they can. Data from the World Bank put the number of people who live in extreme poverty as 690 million, with more than 10% of them living in Nigeria. Add to this, the high unemployment rate in the country, the displacements caused by terrorism and banditry, the economic effect of COVID-19, charity work could be daunting. But Jenike had some advice for humanitarian workers thinking of giving up. Just continue what you're doing. It may seem like a drop in the ocean, but it makes a difference. The things that matter the most in life, they are not the things that give you the immediate reward. The things that will last are the things that take time. And charity work takes time because transformation takes time. But it's in the long run, it will be worth it. Ojenike believes the International Day of Charity importance lies in its ability to form the mindset that people need to be their brother's keepers. The day was originally set aside to honor Mother Teresa's timeless work to help people. But it's also to celebrate charities all over the world. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika Ohaichesi. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.